What is up, Prideful Nerds? My name is Kyle, and we are here with a 100 subscriber video. So, I looked at your guys' um, request and what you guys wanted me to do, and it was a uh, semi tie race between uh, James and I playing a game together and a video about me. So, I decided I'm going to make a video about me, and I'm thinking about also doing a game with James and I. I just need to decide which game. So possibly expect that in the next few days so anyway guys I am um, basically I'm going to be breaking this video up into three parts basically I'm gonna talk about my history a little bit then I'm gonna be talking about you know kinda of what has got happened in the present and then I'm gonna try to talk about my future and what I plan to do and the direction of this channel and how it will be affected and uh, so first I wanna go ahead uh, so basically I'm going to be breaking up and they're going to be about 10 to 12 minutes a piece. So they're going to be fairly shorter videos because I don't, uh, the last video I made about me, if you guys want to check it out, it's like a 30 subscriber video that I made like a month ago. Basically it was, it's, it's about me. It's kind of gloomy because my past kind of was that way. Yeah. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can go check that out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get like the really elongated historical stuff, but it, 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 I'm just going to give you a warning. It is kind of gloomy, so take that at your own risk. So anyway, guys, I'm going to talk about where I have lived. So I have lived in nine different states. I lived in 13 different cities, and by the time I went to college, I was already in 17 different schools. If you want to add the colleges in there, I've been to 20 different schools by this point in my life. My father was in the Air Force after uh, 23 years of service. As a colonel in the Air Force, uh, we moved around a lot, and I was born here in California. I was born on an Air Force base and soon we moved to Alabama. From there we went to Virginia, Florida, many different places. So if you guys have already heard this in my older video, uh, you would have already known that about me. I lived in Hawaii, very different states. And where I really became a gamer was when I was living in Washington State. I got my own computer and I was playing Age of Empires, Age of Empires 2. I got a PS1 when it first came out in the 90s playing you know like Spyro the Dragon I got to also play the first Final Fantasy series actually that was on the Super Nintendo that you know I got to play the Sega Genesis I got to play a lot of different games and I have been gaming since I was very very young around four years old I was playing you know I was playing Donkey Kong and things like that <laughs> so you know I, I got to play games a lot in my childhood now, the thing about my childhood was is that um, there was quite a bit of abuse. Uh, my mother uh, was an alcoholic. Uh, my father was pretty close to one. I wouldn't say he was full long into it, but he, he definitely got his drink on. Yeah, so my life was uh, pretty rough as a kid. My mother was an abusive drunk, and um, uh, she would take her rage and anger out on me quite a bit. And we were moving around so much, I really didn't have time for friends that much because I would make friends and immediately before, you know, once I made friends, I'd have to move like a few months afterwards. And, you know, when, when you have that happen to you enough as a kid, you kind of get to the point of, well, why bother, right? So I basically was playing games. Now, as a kid, I always, when I grew up, when I began playing games, I wanted to become a video game designer. I wanted to make video games. And when I was younger, <laughs> I still have these. I made, like, plots of video games, right? I, I, I wanted to make, when I was young, I loved Final Fantasy X, and I loved Dynasty Warriors. If you guys have ever played Dynasty Warriors 2, oh my god, Dynasty Warriors 2, guys. I loved playing Dynasty Warriors. If you guys have never played Dynasty Warriors, it's made by Koi. And they are hack and slash. Uh, one of the popular ones that they actually made, guys, was the one on Bleach. The anime Bleach. I could never get into Bleach. Um, I, um... Or not Bleach, I'm a freaking idiot. One Piece, One Piece. I could never get into One Piece. I love Bleach. I, I never, um, I could never get into One Piece. They made that One Piece, um, oh, what was that? You guys know, look it up. It's by Koi, it's, it's a, the One Piece game. It's a hack and slash. I love that game, actually. My friend and I, my friend Tim, he 
loves that game, and I've gone over to his house a few times to play it, and I love it. It's a fun game, even though I'm not into One Piece. I, I tried giving it a shot. I got like 75 episodes in. I just I just couldn't get into, into, into Bleach. Why do I keep saying Bleach? One Piece. Yeah, I love Bleach. Uh, Naruto was was pretty good, I, except for all the freaking fillers. I looked up a filler list for that, and I uh, I was able to. I'm, why am I talking? Okay, okay, back to my life, guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, when I was in, I moved to Tennessee after Washington, and I got with some friends because uh, my parents were like, "Okay, we we're gonna live in Tennessee for a while, you know, and 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 you know, you can make friends." And and they love 007 GoldenEye. Have you guys ever played 007 GoldenEye? Oh my gosh, I, I used to play uh, with my friends all the time playing that, playing those games. I, I love GoldenEye. That's where I started getting into anime. They love watching Dragon Ball Z. And I watch Dragon Ball Z with them every Saturday morning. Every every Saturday morning at noon. Saturday morning at noon. I'm a freaking idiot. Every Saturday at noon, Toonami would come out with Dragon Ball Z. And we went to, I went over there. We ate like ice cream and crap on Saturdays. And we watched Dragon Ball Z. And Dragon Ball Z played till 2. And, uh, and then afterwards, uh, we lived right up next to these woods. So we go run around the woods and shooting BBs at freaking army men and crap. <laughs> and that's what we did. Typical southern lifestyle for kids. And then we come home to eat Miss Terry's homemade apple pie. That's what we did every Saturday, guys. It was great. I miss those days. Anyway, and then we moved because my parents got or decided to get a divorce because my mother cheated on my father. And then they decided to not get a divorce, and the agreement was that they would move to California and retry their relationship, guys. So we moved out to California, and here I've been. Uh, we, my parents did get divorced in the end, which I think is for the best. I mean, usually most, most kids don't say that the divorce was for the best, but in my situation, my mother has, actually, I'm going to tell you guys this because I never t showed the resol, I showed the resolution of, of what happened with me and my father, but I never showed the resolution of what happened with me and my mother. And I'm going to, I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about that. I'm not going to mention any names, obviously. So my mother has actually tried to stop her alcoholism. It's worked for the most part over the last two years. I used to hear from my mother about once a year. I'm now actually talking to my mother now about once a month, which isn't a lot, but it's getting better. If you guys listened to my last video, you know that even despite the abuse and everything, I forgave my mother. At the end of the day, she's still my mother, right? I have tried and tried, tried re to get a relationship with my mother over the past few years and it really hasn't worked but now she's actually starting to try as you know I, I, I think as she gets older she's kind of reflecting back a lot of things and she's never come forward with me about the alcoholism thing but yeah I'm waiting for that day to happen but I've already forgiven I forgive her a long time ago guys and you know I don't this is comfort this has gone gloomy I'm sorry guys but yeah I mean in the end I am working to resolve things with my mother and you know i it's it's been good it's been good guys you know we're, we're starting I, I sent her letters for her birthday she sent letters from my brother this hasn't this never happened before and you know things have really gone well uh i'm actually supposed she's supposed to come out and visit next month and it's it's been good i haven't seen her in in over over a year and a half so yeah, things things are getting better. Like I said, guys, uh, from my last video, you guys remember that, you know, my life was rough. You know, um, you know, I had an abusive mother all the way up until I was about 15 years of age, and you know, my mother would beat me and things like that. And you know, yes, they sucked. My father, after the divorce, he met a wonderful woman, and she had two great kids. And I love them to death. I never had siblings, and 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 I always wished for siblings, and I got them, <laughs> albeit a bit late when I was in my twenties. But you know, now I'm 24. That there you go. There's a tidbit, guys. You learn I'm 24. I'm old in YouTube standards. <laughs> you know, I love how when you're over 20, you all of a sudden become old. You know, it's amazing. But I have two wonderful brothers, a new wonderful mother and one mother that our relationship is on the mend and a wonderful dad and you know despite the chaos that i went through for 17 years of my life my life now is is extremely good, better because of it i think it's made me a strong person 
and I have a loving family now that I wouldn't trade for anything. My life is pretty good. I have a, a, a good job. I have this awesome YouTube channel with you guys where I get to talk to you guys. I have a wonderful family. I have great friends. I, my life was rough, you know, and most of my life, what has been suffering and hardship and things like that, but there is always a light at the end of the road. There, there is, and, and sometimes, you know, the, you struggle, and you know what? When you get to a place where you're no longer struggling, it is just, it's great. It really is. And I wouldn't change what has happened for, to, in my life for anything. I wouldn't change my past at all because you know what? If I change something, then that means maybe I wouldn't be the person that I am today. And after all of the hardship and the struggle and the hard work that I've done in school, the hard work I've done in my job and things like that, I am in a really good place. And that's the thing, guys. No matter how hard things are in your life, don't give up things will get better if you work for it and and I feel like I have worked really hard and I am in a really good place so that is the moral of my life story is that you know don't let things weigh you down you know overcome them be better than them and and you will achieve, you know get over the hill you will and you know my mother you know yes things in my life were pretty hectic but i forgave my mother i even told her i told her to her face i said you know what i know there you know you did some pretty rotten things in my life but i forgive you for them because you are my mother and you know that's just you know confront what happens in your life you know don't don't bury them you know i tried burying them it didn't work you just you're left angry don't bury them, you know, confront them, resolve them, you know, and that's what I did, and I think my life is, is for the better because of it. Anyway, guys, that is the first part of my life story. Um, it, you know, I didn't really cover a whole heck of a lot because a lot, honestly, a lot of this history stuff was kind of covered in my uh, first video, so like I said, if you guys want to hear more in-depth stuff, it's there um but really i just want to talk to you about you know how i was a kid and i got to become a nerd by playing all these different kinds of games and everything and all that good kind of stuff and now i'm going to kind of talk to you what kind of happened you know shortly after high school on to today um in the next video and kind of what i'm doing in college and things like that and then the final video is going to be about my future and, and you know and all kinds of things because i mentioned a few times in my videos that i'm planning on moving after college and there's two very different paths that I can take. And I'm going to talk about both those paths and what will happen with our YouTube channel depending on which path I choose. So anyway, guys, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. <laughs> I make this video now looking at our little thing here in the corner. And we have 206 subscribers. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing for 200, guys, because I just... I, we were making this 100 video and it's blown up in the last year. We gained like 40 subscribers yesterday. We were under 150 by the time I was planning to make this video and putting it together. And now it's blown up beyond this. So guys, thank you very much. And I am going to shout out today, as I've shouted out in my last video to uh, Mexico. I'm going to shout out today to everybody, all the prideful nerds in Canada. Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you all are having a great day and I will see you all in the next episode that I make. See ya.